Well, hey there, humans. It's Audrea, Audrea Firestone, speaker, author, coach, and I've got a little something to share with you this morning. I love when my own lessons that I teach come home to roost, and they did last night. So I was having a, a situation in my business that I really needed some help. I hadn't taken actions that were good for me, and so I needed to correct it, and I needed to correct it ASAP. I went to someone I respected and I trust and I asked her opinion and she jumped on me, absolutely jumped on me with, how could you be so stupid? You should be ashamed of yourself. I was horrified to tell you the truth. It really took me aback. I never expected it, but here's something that I learned and I made a choice that took that particular moment in time that lasted probably 10 minutes. And I turned it to my advantage because I was writing something in an email to my clients. And this is an unknown author. No one knows who wrote it. If you put a really small value on yourself, you can be sure the world will not raise your price. I'm going to read it one more time. If you put a really small value on yourself, you can be sure the world will not raise your price. So at that moment, I said, is what she said true, that I should be ashamed of myself? And the answer is absolutely not. I have valiantly tried to do what I'm doing with all my heart, and I'm going to make mistakes, and I'm going to fall down, and I'm going to skin my knee, and sometimes I might even break a leg. And that is being human. That is giving your all, trying your best, and falling on your butt. We're human. We do it. Now, as a coach, I am very careful. When I talk to my clients, I'm very honest, but I'm also very kind about delivering. I've been called ruthlessly kind because I keep going, but at the same time, I'm kind. But here's the story. Here's what I took from this interaction last night is I said to myself, wait a minute. What she's saying is not true because we teach others how to treat us, don't we? What she's saying is not true. But oh boy, the three things that she said in the middle of all of that is extremely valuable. Those things are valuable and I am going to act on them. Should I take the time and the energy to escalate this? And to say, you know, I really feel hurt and I feel wounded and I didn't expect that. That isn't how I needed to use my energy at that time. Instead, I said thank you and I meant thank you because I have three valuable courses of action. So understand that oftentimes what comes at us may be how the person is feeling at at the time, they may be overwhelmed, they may be tired, they may be very disappointed in themselves, they may be very disappointed in you. Take what serves you. And the rest, let it go. There are times to stand up and fight for who you are. I've done that in my life. I have no regrets about any of that because we teach others how to treat us. Those boundaries need to be in place. But take what serves you. And sometimes the plate may not be the pattern you like, but the food is really good. So the information I got last night serves me well. And I'm taking the temporary ouch. I'm not even putting a band-aid on it. I washed it to make sure it was clean. And it is nothing in comparison to the valuable advice that I received. So go act on what you get, what comes to you that serves you. Act on that right now. Let the other stuff go. A lot of us during this very difficult time are under a lot of pressure. And we're not always kind and wise. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we were? We're not. We are beautifully human. So take your beautiful human self. Take what comes at you. Throw away what doesn't serve you. Keep what serves you. Act on it. And only if someone really trods on your toes 
then you simply stand up and you say, that won't do. Stop right there. And you turn around and you walk away. So, humans, that's all I have to say this morning. It's Audrea Firestone, speaker, author, coach. I hope that was a help. Thank you for lending me your ears. And I will see you later. Alligators.